Yo, what's up guys? Walter Bear here. Uh, the goofy hat is because it's like zero degrees outside. And uh, I apologize for not having a video in quite some time, but I'm back uh, and, you know, let's just jump right, jump right into it. I needed a couple months to kind of get things together. So, uh, so here, I use Sibelius 6 because Sibelius 7 kind of stinks and I really enjoy 6 a lot. Uh, but let me just show you three quick tips. One of the, the things that I do when I write my music uh, is that the scrolling is really bad, right? I mean, like, you can't scroll. It's not, it's not very fluid. See how it kind of stops and it's jumpy? What I do is up here, the upper left, in this here, it's called Navigator. If you push that, you can actually skip between pages uh, with, without it jumping. You know, if you have to go, if you have to go back to like three pages before, see how, how it kind of stops? You just push this back, one, two, three. Now, that's the first trick. The second thing is that um, uh, when I'm doing this is that this Navigator here will take up too much space. Right, it'll take up too much screen real estate because I'm on a little laptop. So what I do is I keep that, but I'll, I'll move it to the bottom here. And you don't need the whole thing. I mean, there's times when this navigator will actually come out to here. You'll have like three or four pages sometimes. And it, it's just, it's way too much to take up this whole area. So what I do is I move it down and you can still use it by just clicking on here. You know, you can still go between pages and it doesn't take up all the room that it would if it were like up to here. So that's the second trick. Uh, also what I want to show you is that when I have to go to the beginning or to the end of a piece of music, back to this, when you're scrolling it takes forever, especially here I have like 24 pages worth of music. But also using the navigator, there's no quick way of getting back to the beginning. I have to sit there for like you know, 10 seconds go back to the beginning. So what I do is I select all just like a text file, and I push the right arrow, okay? And that takes me back to the end. See here how I'm on page 23? If I want to go back to page one, there's no shortcut on the laptop. If you have a number pad, you can go back to the home. You push the home button, but you don't have that here. Uh, and I suppose I could buy one, you know, but I, I don't. So select all, right? You can see that it's all selected and then just push the left arrow and that'll take you back to the beginning. Right here you're on page one. So if I have to go to like page, let's say like 23, I'll select all, go to page 24, or whatever, if I have to go to page 22, and then I'll either just scroll back or I'll just push the 22. And then there, and then there, there I am. So that's the second thing. And the third thing, this is more just kind of like a PSA, uh, that Sibelius 7 claims that they're ret that they're retina display, which you know in some cases they are, but all the the shapes in Sibelius 6 are all vectors anyway, you know. So you don't really need to buy an upgrade if you want retina display. Uh, from what I can understand, they're really only referring to the menus and things like that, because um, all the graphics are vectors, at least from what I can gather. And the menus are low resolution, like you can see, like that the you know, that the words are a little bit blurry, but that doesn't bother me because I'm writing music all day. I'm never in the menus. So that's it. Those are just, uh, you know, some, you know, some short little tricks. I, I, I have a list here of things that I have to tackle today. Um, and so those were the four things that I wanted to make with, with this video. So let me know if you have any questions, leave your comments below. I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Uh, I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are well. I miss you. And um, I'm going to start doing this every day. All right. We'll see you soon.